Hi there, and welcome to this video on A-level chemistry for the AQA specification, focusing on the topic of alkanes, and in particular, on the fractional distillation of crude oil. Hi, I'm Manisha from StudyMind, where we help you to revise A-level chemistry with our helpful revision resources tailored to your subject, your specification, and to you. If you're new here, please make sure to click that subscribe button, and whilst you're watching, please leave any comments down below about anything you're unsure of. If it's your first time watching, make sure to let us know so we can send you our free revision resources. We also have helpful timestamps to guide you through the video. So, let's get started. Welcome to lesson one of four in this tutorial, covering the fractional distillation of crude oil. This is the first video in our series of four lessons on the topic of alkanes. Here are the key learning objectives for this lesson. First, we'll look at crude oil and then at the steps in fractional distillation. Here are the AQA specification points we'll be covering in today's lesson. Feel free to pause the video now and have a quick read through them before we begin. First, we'll be looking at the fact that alkanes are saturated hydrocarbons. As you can see, there are lots of different things we need to talk about today. Here's a brief overview of what we'll be covering. We've got a few key terms in the middle, and we've got some diagrams to explain the process of fractional distillation. Let's start off with some key terms. First, we'll be covering alkanes. These are a group of compounds which have the general formula CnH2n plus 2. For example, we could look at butane. Alkanes have saturated hydrocarbons. Because they have the maximum number of hydrogens for a given number of carbons. Saturated compounds only contain single bonds. They have the maximum number of hydrogens for a given number of carbons. As you can see, saturated compounds have single bonds, whereas unsaturated compounds have double bonds. Hydrocarbons are compounds that only consist of carbon and hydrogen. Here, we can see that butane and butyne are hydrocarbons, whilst ethanol is not a hydrocarbon. Cycloalkanes are special types of alkanes which are still saturated that have the general formula CnH2n. For example, cyclopentane is C5H10. Our next key term is petroleum. This is a raw material which is mostly made up of alkanes and is also known as crude oil. We can obtain this substance by drilling. Fractional distillation is the process by which a mixture of compounds can be separated. It's based upon their different boiling points in the fractionating column. Let's go through the process step by step. First, we heat the petroleum to around 400 degrees. At this point, it becomes a gas. This gas is put into the fractionating column, which has a temperature gradient. It's hotter at the bottom than at the top of the column. Next, the gases rise up the column, and as they do so, they liquefy. They are prevented from falling back down the column by bubble caps. The different levels, or fractions, are removed from the column. This occurs mostly as liquids, but the smallest are taken as gases. Here's a recap of all those steps again. First, we heat up the petroleum, then put the gas into the column. The gases condense as they rise up, 
and we can remove the separate fractions. We've now covered both the specification points for this tutorial. Feel free to skip back through the video and re-watch anything you feel unsure about. We've now completed Lesson 1. If you liked this video, make sure to catch our latest videos by subscribing down below and leaving a comment on a topic that you'd like to see a video on. Click here to watch more videos on our series of A-Level Chemistry or visit our website studymind.co.uk for past paper compilations by topic and specification.